Hi, welcome to today's vinyasa flow. For today's practice, you are going to want two blocks and a strap. Now, this is a nice reminder. You don't have to have the fancy official yoga props, although those are awesome. My strap is just a long piece of material. You can also use a scarf works really well for this or a rolled up towel. Um, and my yoga blocks, you guys have seen many times, they are just big old pieces of wood because that's what I have. We are going to start in a hero's pose. So finding your heels under your seat, knees resting on the mat, just check in with your body. If this doesn't feel good, try bringing a block under your seat just to raise yourself a little bit. That can be enough to help out. If that still doesn't feel good in your knees, just finding a comfortable, easy seat. We'll be here for just a few moments. Eyes can soften or close. You might roll your shoulders up towards your ears and then slide them down your back. Few rounds here. And pausing next time your shoulders are lowered, really lengthening your spine here. Then inhale, reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, squeeze your elbows together, shoulder blades together, elbows come down for cactus arms. And then inhale, draw your arms together in front of you, a bit of a different take on our pulses. Inhale to open. Exhale, close, bring your hands together. Inhale, open, pull your heart through. Exhale, close, rounding your spine. Inhale to open, pulling the heart through, shoulder blades squeeze. Exhale, round the spine, hands come together. And then rocking over your knees, make your way to a tabletop position. So neutral spine here. First, starting by rotating your fingertips to point out towards the edges of your mat, so like you're pointing at nine and three on a clock. Then gently shifting your weight side to side here. If that feels okay, you might start to bring in some hip circles. Just noticing that different rotation, how that feels on your wrists and your forearms. You can switch directions if you've taken those hip circles. Let's bring in a little movement here. If this is your edge, you're welcome to stay right here. Or from stillness, pivot your fingers to point towards your knees. So thumbs are towards the outer edges of the mat, fingertips pointing towards knees, and then sinking your hips back just as far as feels good. You might gently rock forward and back, maybe deepening a little each time. Or it can feel good just to stay in that stretching pose. So finding what works best for you. In yoga, we spend a lot of time on our hands and wrists, so just giving them a little love here. And then pivoting your fingers forward back to that neutral tabletop. Inhale to drop your belly, lift your gaze. Exhale, round your spine, tuck your chin. Inhale for cow, belly drops, gaze lifts. Exhale for cat. Give yourself a few rounds of breath here at this pace or at a pace that feels good for you. If it feels good to linger in one spot or another, just embracing that. Next round of breath, finding stillness at a neutral spine. Inhale to lift your right leg off the mat, extending it long behind you, or bent behind you, and then stepping that foot between your hands Find a low lunge. Inhale, fingertips reach towards the sky, pulling your belly button towards your spine, engaging your glutes here. And then lowering down, hands can come to the mat, or if the mat feels really far away, bring blocks under each hand as you start to shift your weight back for half splits. So finding what works for you. Heart pulls forward, right toes point towards the sky. Noticing here, you might want to round your spine, but pulling your heart so that leads first towards your toes. Breathing here. Then taking your left hand to the block or the mat, open your right arm towards the sky, finding a half splits, half twist, all the funkiness. Breathe here. Then right hand back to mat. Rocking forward, low lunge, then step back for tabletop. Other side, inhale, left leg sweeps towards the sky. 
exhale step it between your hands lunge on this side inhale fingertips lift finding your stability and base here and then lowering down hands to the mat again hands can come to mat or blocks this side tends to be a little tighter for me so i bring blocks under my hands heart pulls forwards finding your base here keeping those left toes pointed towards the sky then right hand plants into block or mat left arm sweeps half splits half twist all the goodness squeezing that left shoulder blade back then left hand to mat or block rocking forward returning to that tabletop position walk your hands forward about a handprint tuck your toes lift your hips down dog bringing in a little movement here you might pedal out your legs if it feels good you can even intensify that bending your right knee maybe dipping your right shoulder down a deep twist then other side bending left knee dipping that left shoulder down it's bringing in any movement that feels good Next round of breath, pausing in stillness. Inhale, bend your knees and look forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. We'll pause here first, bringing your hands back by your hips for airplane arms. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, really feeling that activation. Full round of breath here. Flat back, triceps engage, squeeze your shoulder blades. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, reach towards the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, hands forward and up. Exhale, fold all the way through. Inhale, half lift, flat back, squeeze your shoulder blades. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, reach to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, hands forward and up, maybe a little back bend if it feels good. Exhale, fold all the way through. Plant your hands, step or hop back to plank. Inhale and plank. Exhale, lower all the way to the mat. Untuck your toes, hands under shoulders. Lift your heart for cobra, just as high as feels good. Exhale, back to the mat. Inhale, press up to plank. Exhale, hips up and back, down dog. About three rounds of breath here. Hips reaching towards the sky, heels towards the mat. Then bringing in some pulses, pressing your chest closer to your thighs and then gently away. That always feels really nice after doing a lot of desk work, which is what this yoga is geared towards. But I also know I have a lot of teachers and nurses who do this yoga because we spend a lot of time bending forward in those professions. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, arms reach to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, hands forward and up, maybe a little back bend if it feels good. Exhale, fold all the way through. Before you plant your hands, I want you to set a block at its lowest setting towards the top of the mat. Then inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Plant your hands, step or hop back to your plank. Inhale and plank. Exhale, chaturanga or the mat. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, hips up and back, down dog. Inhale, lift your heels high, pressing into the balls of your feet. And then bringing your knees to the mat for child's pose. Hips sink back and extending your arms long. Use that block here to rest your arms. Almost like a melting heart. Bit of a variation on our typical child's pose. Just bringing a little more openness to your shoulders. Now if that feels too intense or doesn't feel good, returning your hands to the mat. If you'd like to intensify the stretch, you can take the block to a higher setting. Wherever you are, three full rounds of breath. And 
and slowly start to make your way back towards a downward dog position. Lifting hips up towards the sky. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, step it between your hands, back foot parallel to the short edge of the mat, finding warrior two. Feeling into your base here first, then we'll come right into side angle. Right forearm rests on your thigh, left arm comes overhead. Now notice here, you might wanna to start to sink into that forearm on your thigh, keeping your core active here. Right hand sweeps down in front of you, then back towards the sky. Give yourself a few rotations here. And what I have referred to in my notes as guitar hero arms. Just bringing in some mobility and then switching directions next time you're at the top. Again, noticing if you're wanting to sink into that bent forearm. Pausing next time your arm is lifted. Bring that left hand behind your low back. Hand presses into your low back to pull your left shoulder back. Option to stay right here, or you can bring right hand under thigh, finding bound side angle. Maybe your fingers touch, maybe they just stay reaching. Full round of breath here. Left shoulder continues to pull back. Then right hand finds the mat. Left arm reaches to the sky, straightening your front leg for triangle. Maybe your hand stays on the mat. Maybe you lift so hand rests on your calf. Finding what works for you. Then engage your core, lifting to reverse or peaceful triangle. Left hand to back thigh, right arm overhead. Bend into your front knee, warrior two. Cartwheel your hands to the mat. Step back to plank. Inhale and plank. Exhale, chaturanga or the mat. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, hips up and back, down dog. Inhale your left leg to the sky. Exhale, step it between your hands. Warrior two on the other side. Finding your base here first. Left forearm rests on your thigh, right arm comes overhead. Breathing here first, engaging that core. Guitar hero arms, sweeping top arm forward. All the way through at a pace that feels good for you. Little shoulder mobility. Next time your arms at the top, reversing directions. Again, working nice and slow. Noticing that heart pull through as you reach towards the sky. Pausing here. Right hand comes behind your back. Pressing your right hand, it's the back of my right hand, into my hip so I can pull my shoulder back. Maybe you stay right here or that forearm comes under your thigh, bound side angle. Wherever you are, right shoulder continues to pull back, breathing into the sensation, then releasing bottom hand to the mat, top arm towards the sky, straighten your front leg for triangle. Hands can stay on the mat or come to rest on the calf. Breathing here. Engage your core, lifting all the way to reverse or peaceful triangle, right arm to back leg, left arm overhead. Bend into your front knee, warrior two. Cartwheel your hands to the mat. Step back to plank. Inhale in your plank. Exhale, chaturanga or the mat. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, hips up and back, down dog. Inhale, slowly walk your feet forward. Nice little baby steps to finally meet in Uttanasana. Forward fold. Opposite hand to opposite elbow. Allow your head to hang heavy here. Might bring in some sways side to side. If it feels good, you can interlace your fingers behind your head, gently encouraging it to release just a little bit more. Not adding any pressure or cranking anything, just using that as a way to help you release. When you're ready, Releasing that binder grip, slowly vertebrae by vertebrae rolling up. All the way to standing, palms face forward, heart pulls towards the sky, crown of the head towards the sky. Eyes can soften or close here. Breathing into Tadasana. In 
Inhale, take your arms wide, reach all the way to the ceiling. Exhale, fold all the way through. Plant your hands, step or hop back to your plank. Inhale and plank. Exhale, lower all the way to the mat, elbows, graze ribs. Untuck your toes and then take your feet wide, almost as wide as the mat, lifting your heart for wide leg cobra. Again, just as high as feels good. Gentle release down. We'll do that two more times. If it feels good in your body, you can also take your arms wide, pressing up with a wide stance in our arms and legs. Finding what feels good for you. One more round. Then when you return to the mat, gently pressing up to a tabletop position. Breathing here in this tabletop. Inhale, sweep your right arm towards the sky. Exhale, right arm comes under left for thread the needle. Right cheek can rest on the mat. Right shoulder rests on the mat. Breathe here. Next, inhale, slowly lifting out of that shape. Returning hand to the mat. And then extending right leg long behind you. Plant the right foot to the outside of your left foot. Extended mini twist. If you've done practices with me before, you may have seen this. Gaze back towards your extended heel. And then bringing gaze back to between your hands, bend that extended leg, sink your hips towards the mat. Half child's, half cow face. Of course, if you can take full cow face, sitting in your seat between your heels, you are welcome to do so. That's not your body, just keeping your hips reaching towards your heels. Full breath here. Then rocking forward, slowly unwind for the other side. Tabletop, sweep your left arm towards the sky. Then bring left arm under your right. Left cheek to mat. Left shoulder plants on mat. Hips stay high here. Breathing into this threaded needle. Then returning to tabletop. Extend left leg long behind you. Plant left foot outside of right foot, gazing back towards that extended heel. Mini twist here. Then gaze comes back to between your hands, bending that back knee, sinking your hips back, half cow face, half child's on this side. Going as far as feels good, finding that sensation, not forcing or cranking anything. Then returning back to tabletop. Allow yourself to unwind, sinking your hips towards your heels, and then you can sweep your feet out from under you. Come to a typical easy seat, whichever leg you prefer in front. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, twist to the right. Left hand comes to the right knee. Right hand props up behind you and then sweeping that right arm overhead, taking a variation on our typical easy seat twist. Right arm reaches overhead at a diagonal. Left arm keeps you braced against that knee. Full breath here. Then right hand comes to the outside of left knee, using your arms here on your knees to pull your shoulder blades apart. So rounding our spine, be nice and intentional here. Then this is cool. Keeping your arms where they are, gently lifting out of the shape. Hands release the knees. Arms are stacked and then bringing backs of hands to each other or palms facing. Gently pulling your elbows away from your body. Create space between your shoulder blades. Breathing here. Allow your arms to unwind, reach tall, and then twist towards the left. Right hand outside of right knee, left hand props up behind you before reaching overhead. Twist and a side stretch all in one. Breathing into the length on that side body. Then allowing left hand to come to the right knee, 
pulling your shoulder blades apart, using your hands on your knees here to help with that sensation. Head can hang heavy. Lifting yourself out of that shape so hands stay, or hands lift off knees, arms stay stacked. Backs of hands can press or palms press here. Finding your eagle arms. Pull your elbows away from your body. Creating that openness. Inhale, allow your arms to sweep all the way towards the sky. Then exhale, squeeze your elbows down, heart pulls forward. Inhale, arms come together. Exhale, open, pulling your heart forward. Inhale, squeeze together. Exhale to open once more. Allowing hands to rest on your knees. Eyes can soften or close here. Rolling shoulders up towards your ears and then sliding them down your back. Give yourself just a few moments here. A little mini seated meditation. Allow the crown of your head to reach towards the sky. Shoulders slide down your back. And just take a few moments to notice your breath. Noticing the natural rhythm not forcing it or changing it, just letting it be. Checking in with your breath once more. Next round of breath, use your inhale to completely fill your lungs, taking in as much air as you can. Filling in as much as you possibly can and then bringing in just a tiny bit more air. And allow yourself to release, actively pressing out all of that air. Completely emptying the lungs making space for fresh new air. Then inhale to fill, settling back into your breath. We'll close with a collective breath. You can exhale to prepare. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, draw your hands to heart center. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. Thank you for taking time for yourself and being part of this RAD community. I hope you have a lovely day.